Hello guys, welcome back to the Nandes channel. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Of course, you're on that road to 2,000 subscribers. Can't actually believe I'm saying that. And I can only do that if you guys do subscribe. Uh, joining the community is quite a big one for me. But yeah, guys, I do have some interesting transfer news. This one is going to be for more Brighton. And I'm doing this video just because it is a big Zambian player. It's another a Red Bull Salzburg player. I, I am starting to know RB Salzburg quite a lot over the past few days due to Patson Dakar actually joining Leicester City, the team that i do support there is another very big one that has just signed and that is brighton's first signing and he is absolutely phenomenal uh this player uh, he is currently playing for rb salzburg but he's been a main and a quite a big target for brighton overall um it is quite a nice transfer for zambia as well as a team uh, i know they've got two players now in the premier league which is really really good uh, obviously it is um to international regulations um bright but i will read out what sky sports do you say they do say Brighton have announced the signing of midfielder Enoch and Wepu uh, from RB Salzburg for an undisclosed fee. Uh, if you guys want to comment down below, if I'm saying this wrong, um, his name wrong, be sure to comment down below and I will try and fix it in the next video if I do one. As uh, a 23 year old Zambian international arrives on a four year deal uh, as the Albion's first new recruit of the summer, and Wepu has been in Salzburg since 2017 and made 81 league appearances for the Austrian side, scoring 11 goals and laying on nine assists. Brighton boss Graham Potter told the Seagulls' official website, with the last to be able to welcome Enoch to the club and are looking forward to working with him. He has a great deal of experience for somebody of his age, including Champions League and international football. He's primarily a central midfielder, although he's capable of playing in numerous positions. He's open-minded, adaptable and very keen to learn and develop. He will uh, add competition to our existing, op existing options in that area of the squad going into the new season. So that is some very good words from him and he is just a very good talent overall now he's coming at 23 years old it is going to probably be around 25 million but this isn't a bad player at all now and Wepu uh, with the experience he has RB Salzburg know what they're doing and when they say they've got a good player they've got a very good player you saw what happened with Erling Haaland um, you've seen what's going on but it is kind of outlining that there is a big big chance that the big player uh, Viaz Basuma could actually be leaving for Arsenal this season. There has been a lot of interest, and I will go into a little bit more uh, in that in uh, the next few minutes. But I do think this one is a really, really good one. Now, I will read out um, a little bit more from The Athletic. Uh, they do say The Athletic claims that Brighton have lined up a move for Mwepu, who still has three years remaining on his contract at Salzburg. I can confirm, and it has been officially announced that the deal is done. Price wise, I know it's an undisclosed fee, um, but I will read out what it does say as well. It says it adds that the fee will be excess of 20 million in a similar sweep for Leicester City signing forward uh, Pat Sendaka and Wepu's close friend and teammate with the Austrian champions uh, and Wepu still has three years remaining on his contract at Salzburg um, and as I said it is a big contract going into more of the contract details um, it is currently a four-year deal so it's pretty good uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of him very very shortly um, I think it is an excellent signing uh, going into a little bit more uh, on this news Brighton have announced the signing of a midfielder we we all have these confirmations I want you guys to comment down below how much you are happy about this signing I know Mwepu is looking like quite a good one overall when I go into his stats though guys it does show quite a lot of how he is what type of player he is and the style of his play he can play more of a defensive role of very very well i know a lot of people do know that and can play in that role he's a right-footed midfielder um he can be pushed into that right midfield position that's where he was mainly playing at rb salzburg he could also also be put into that defensive mid midfield position and central mid uh, midfield position for them um his contract now does expire in 2025 so a pretty long contract and he might be a very good talent now in the austrian bundesliga got alone he in 81 appearances he got 11 goals and nine assists so pretty good from a central midfielder that's what you want and that european experience that he has at such a young age will bring such big leadership to brighton which is very much needed um i know there needs to be a little bit more of a reshuffle in kind of brighton's team they really need to secure a safer spot uh, they really do need to stay in the premier league because they're a team that i've always known uh, well not always known but i've always kind of uh, had in the recent years to stay in the premier league um in the 20 
20, um, he's made 23 appearances in Liga um, with 6 goals and 4 assists. In the OFB Cup, he made 15 appearances, 7 goals, 7 assists. So he's still another player who can get goals and assists in there. 11 Champions League appearances, 4 assists. Now, I know you guys know that I'm going to be talking about Yves Basuma now. And Basuma, this kind of transfer could outline that this move for Basuma could actually happen. Um, I know that kind of Brighton have just actually signed Wepu. And as I said, this could maybe, maybe outline Yves Basuma is really, really going to be a big one to leave Brighton. Now, my current thoughts is that there is a high chance that this deal could actually happen. Um, I know Yves Basuma has been a big target for Arsenal and they are currently looking for a reshuffle. As I said, um, in their team, Arteta is being given the funds to strengthen that central midfield role and Basuma looks like an incredible player right now and it is reported that he would want European football experience. Um, now, going into a bit more, the Mali international has been linked uh, to uh, many, a number of Premier League clubs and could be close to an exit as a Brighton edge closer to signing a potential replacement which is already done which is uh, and Wepu Vez Basuma has been tutored to move away from the Amex for some time with top six Premier League duo Arsenal and Liverpool the two sides most often linked with the midfielder the 24 year old desire to move to bigger a bigger side could become a reality very soon if recent reports over Brighton's transfer dealings are true um, Graham, Graham, Graham's Potter side are rumoured to um, have signed Salzburg midfielder Enoch and Wepu I am going to confirm as I said guys this is a, a little bit older of an article. Their interest in Mwepu has sparked fresh rumours, um, etc. Basumu had long been on the radar of Arsenal's Mikel Arteta plans to oversee a huge overhaul as he aims to restore the Gunners on their former glories. Um, Arsenal are also facing a mass exodus when it comes to their playing department with loan duo Danny Ceballos and Martin Erdegaard already returning to their parent club Real Madrid, while Granit Xhaka is reportedly on the cusp of a move to AS Roma. Uh, Gunners Red um, um, Matteo Guendouzi has already announced his exit this, but despite no confirmation I think that's a really big miss and it does show how much Yves Basuma would be in this one now it is reported that Basuma would be able to be put in straight into that starting 11 of Arsenal and he's probably Brighton's best player for me I think Brighton and Yves Basuma is just a very very good one going on and his contract does expire very soon now I know it's only two years but it is only two years guys these years go quickly um, and it is a really really interesting one overall and I do think if uh, they are going to be losing him, this transfer uh, for Enek and Wepu did happen for that reason. It could suggest he could be put into that sentiment position because Mwepu can play as a central midfielder very well. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below if you haven't already. Comment if you guys really do like this player. Um, I know I and I do recommend you guys looking a little bit more at his goals and assists, etc. And his passing style. He's got a very, very good vision, the youngster. Um, and it will be interesting to see what happens. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe and comment down below if you haven't already. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.